It's a beautiful day and I just got a box in the mail. This box just came in the mail. It's from Vigo Garden. It is a tomato planter that is supposed to be rollable. If you can see, there's a little picture on the side of the box. Let's open it up, put it together and see what it looks like. It's always fun to get mail. I love opening up new packages. This is a self-watering rolling tomato planter pot with a trellis. Let's see what it looks like. Let me get it opened up. Looks like there's instructions on the top. See the picture of it? So it'll have a pot on the bottom and then a trellis system attached to it. Looks fairly straightforward to put together. Start your planting journey. They had a couple different color options on their website. I went with this olive green color. I believe it was actually called sage green. Yeah, sage green is the official color name. Oh, I like that. That's a very pretty color. It's kind of a lighter green on the bottom and then a darker green around the ring. These look like all of the posts for the top part of the trellis system. They're wrapped up pretty nicely. Let's get all the packaging off of these. Oh, this has all the little connectors in it. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here today. The sun is shining and there's blue skies which is so nice because we've had really wet, rainy weather for about the last week, week and a half here. So the fact that the sun is out and the sky is blue, oh, it's good for the soul. It makes me happy. I can't stand being cooped up and inside, especially with the kids. My kids are definitely outdoor kids. We like playing outside and doing things outside. And if you're cooped up inside for too long, it just drives everybody a little crazy. This planter pot comes with attachable wheels. It looks like you can leave the wheels off if you want to, or you can pop them in so that you can roll around the planter. I'm gonna put mine in so that I can move it around my porch as I want to. But you could easily leave them off if you don't wanna be moving your planter pot around. So this bottom piece actually comes apart. It has the reservoir that'll hold all the water, and this is where all the dirt will go into. This looks like a water gauge. It'll show you when you need to refill the self-watering planter. I, I imagine that this little stick inside is buoyant, and when it's filled with water, it'll rise up to the full mark, and then when the water's running low, it'll drop back down. That's pretty cool. To make the trellis part of the self-watering planter, there's holes in the top here that you put the straight connector pieces in, and then there's some arched curved metal bits that go around to make the cage part of the planter. And you just continue to build that up all the way. So let's just finish putting all that together. For the very top of the cage, there's like a domed effect. There's a different connector that has four pieces and curved little sides that goes on the very top. I've got it all put together now. It actually looks pretty sturdy and I don't think it'll blow over once it's filled with dirt. I would keep it out of a really high wind area, especially if the vining plant is growing all the way up because then it might get a little top heavy. 
it's pretty large actually. I'm five foot seven and it comes right up to my shoulder height. So that's pretty great. This planter is marketed as a tomato planter that you can plant tomatoes in and bring them indoors and outdoors. I think this planter would genuinely be really great if you have limited space and you wanted to grow a tomato bush on a patio or a porch or even on a balcony in an apartment. I know a lot of times people look at the size of our garden and think they have to have that much land in order to garden. But you can really garden anywhere that you're at as long as you have some sunshine. You could really use this for any viney plant. You could grow cucumbers on it or even some flowers. I was thinking this might be nice to have a little short rose climbing on it or maybe even some sweet peas or some other little vining flower bush. So I may have to think on it for a minute to figure out what exactly I'm gonna plant in here. But in the meantime, let's get it filled with some dirt and topped up with water. I'm interested to see how the water float valve works on this particular planter. I'll put the link in the description box below this video for this planter. It comes in a couple different colors. If you want a different color other than green, be sure to check out their website and see all that they offer. They also have a lot of other metal raised beds and different types of planter boxes as well, in addition to just this tomato cage rolling planter. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up our pot now with some potting soil. I could just scoop some dirt out of the yard and put it in there, but that's really not ideal because our native dirt is clay and clay is not very loose and fluffy. And I wanna make sure we have nice, loose and fluffy dirt for our pot so that the roots have the best chance of getting established. Plus, if I scoop dirt out of the yard, it would have weed seed and grass seed in there. And I wanna ensure that there's no weeds in this particular pot. Although it would be very easy to pull weeds if there was any. But this stuff is super fluffy and loose and it'll give the plants that I plant in here the best chance of getting a good head start. Looks like I'll need a little bit more, but you can see it's nice and loose and fluffy dirt. I'm gently just pressing the top of the soil to make sure there's no big air pockets. I'm not compacting it too firmly. Just a gentle press. I'm gonna be a little bit of a rebel and not plant a tomato in this tomato cage. We're gonna plant some high scent sweet peas. This particular variety just says it's high scent sweet pea. It doesn't say anything else about it. Now, sweet peas do like cooler weather. And here where I am gardening in zone seven, at the time that I'm filming this video, we still have about five weeks until our last frost date. And my sweet peas have been hiding out in the deep freezer, so they've been cold for a little while now. And I've just had them soaking in some water. Let's see if I can show you them without spilling. They're a little small black round seed and sweet pea flowers smell so lovely. So I think it'd be really lovely to have a big tower of sweet peas growing here on the front porch. This porch swing right over there gets a little more sun. So our house faces north. So typically most of the day, the immediate front porch is in full shade. However, that side of the house, the west side, has pretty good sun for the majority of the day. So that porch swing is normally in full sun. So I'm gonna park this planter over there next to the porch swing and it'll be so lovely to have those sweet peas right there smack dab beside my porch swing and I think that'll be really enjoyable all summer long. So we're gonna plant these sweet pea seeds directly into the pot and have them growing in the container and then we'll train them up the trellising system and enjoy them all summer. I'll be sure to show you guys the sweet peas flowering later this summer once they actually start to bloom. But like I said, you don't have to grow sweet peas on this trellis. It's made for tomatoes. And I do think it would even be great for houseplants inside your house. Oh, there was a bee. 
you could do pothos or some other vining plant up the trellis inside your home and you could roll it around because it's on wheels to the best spot. Now, one little trick with sweet peas. Sweet peas have a very, very hard shell. So it's recommended on the seed packet to give it a little nick. So I have some scissors here. I'm gonna see if I can scrape the shell a little bit to help it germinate a little faster. Now, I think it'd probably be best to use like a metal file for this, but scissors are what I have at the moment. So I'm gonna try to be very, very careful and not cut myself while doing this. I'm just gonna give the seed a little nick to help it pop out a little easier. And sweet peas, you wanna plant a fourth of an inch deep and space them 12 inches apart. However, I am gonna plant quite a few in this little pot because I want it to be really full and lush. Now we're just gonna fill it up with some water. One note with any self-watering planter, this one or any other one you may purchase, you wanna make sure the top layer of dirt is staying moist, especially if you're planting seeds, just until those root systems get established and the roots can grow down and actually utilize that water and soak it up. So since we're planting seeds today, I'm gonna to make sure I'm keeping the top of the dirt moist until those seeds are sprouted and well-established. Then I'll let the self-watering portion of the planter take over for the rest of the summer when it's really hot and I don't wanna be worrying about watering plants. So this little reservoir is where you put your water in to fill it up. As the water is filling up the container, you can see the buoyant water gauge slowly rise up. All right, our planter is all planted up. Let's roll it over to where it's gonna live. That worked out. I had to do a little swing test there to make sure that I wasn't gonna whack the planter with the pork swing, especially since we have kids. But I think that's the perfect spot. The wheels did make a little bit of a scuff mark on the concrete. It's coming up just fine with a little bit of water and a paper towel. But I would just be a little bit careful of that if you are moving it inside your house, if you have really nice hardwood floors or something. Uh, move it before you fill it with water. Because once you filled it with water, it did get a lot heavier than when it was before. It actually made the letter A. <laughs> Hello. It's coming up with some water though. Thanks for watching. My name is Kara. Subscribe and follow along to our channel if you like gardening videos. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And be sure to check out the link in the description if you're interested in a rolling trellis planter. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and that you're enjoying some sunshine and beautiful weather where you're at too. Bye y'all.